This is a quick demo of bodging up a board to fix some errors in schematic that made it into the PCB. Um, so in particular, right here in between these two pins, they shouldn't be connected. And the same thing between these two pins on this FTDI chip. So I accidentally dragged some schematic symbols that made a short. Um, so I'm going to show you how you can typically bodge this. I'm going to use this magnet wire here that has a low temperature um, enamel, so you can strip it with a soldering iron and this kind of fancy Dremel tool, more or less, so there's a small little ball end um, there that you can use to cut the PCB traces. So this particular one's from Fordham, um, if I'm online, but you can use Dremel or a knife or anything often too. So um, step one, I'll cut the line in between this SOC 8, this little EEPROM chip here, and kind of just go back and forth. This is an eight layer board, so want to be a bit careful we don't go too deep. Um, so we'll give it a quick check with a multimeter um, that there's no continuity, right? And then I've gone deep enough. So that's good. Um, and then the second part is same thing right by that FTDI chip to break those two traces there. So again, we'll give it a quick go. Um, I'm not doing this under a microscope. That's the other way that, you know, if you're doing finer stuff, you definitely want to do to, to make sure you're not going too deep or hitting the wrong side. Um, so hit it with the multimeter and there's still connectivity here. So oops, didn't go quite far enough, quite far enough over it looks like, so we'll hit that again. Um, and let's get it now. Again, just trying to make sure we're not only on the top layer. Confirm that and it looks good. All right, so now we'll strip the enamel wire. So this is what makes this wire so great. You see, I just quickly put it in a ball of solder and we get a stripped wire. Um, I'm using kind of a chunky lead here. So I'll tin the sock eight lead and solder that. Not the cleanest, but it'll work for now. Um, bend the, this, this varnished wire we can have on the PCB, bend it into the shape. Um, and ideally some fine side cutters here. I forgot mine on <laughs> another spot. So I'm just gonna use, um, a uh, less nice pair of wire cutters, but you know you don't always need the best tools to do this stuff. So we'll we'll trim it off where it needs to go. Um, again, this varnished wire is really nice because we'll we can use the soldering iron to strip it right in place there. Um, so another thing again that I should have is some extra flux to squirt on the board, and I don't have right in front of me normally would um, and so it, it's gonna work a lot better if you squirt some flux on this but I'm just gonna hope there's enough uh, kind of leftover from my fresh solder there and try to squeeze it onto the QFN pin um, and so I'll melt that right onto the connection with the QFN pin and kind of give it a jiggle to make sure it seems secure and then bend this down and then if you put some dab of CA glue um, that will help with the lead too so you just put like a dab of CA glue you know at each corner would be perfect. Uh, and that's it, so that's how you can quickly bodge up a board. So I had a few of these to do, um, right? So same thing, we'll do, I'll do this a bunch of times in a row, um, but I won't bore you with doing them all, but you get the idea. You can just kind of do the quick um, cut, and normally once you get a feel for how it works, you'll get much more effective. So here, you know, this one, first time, um, got the connection cut, we'll do the same thing. Um, solder the magnet wire on, and that should give us a really successful way of bodging up these boards. So hopefully this gave you some ideas for how you can do this type of work yourself. Um, here's an example. So the second one I did still didn't get the flux out, which I should have. So it took a little longer to get this connection stable, but um, I'll leave some, some links to the specific wire I used. Um, feel free to leave a comment and hopefully you found this helpful. Thanks for watching.